Alright, what's up, YouTube? So, today we are doing another full game informative Hecarim game. Uh, so this game, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be running Phase Rush, and the reason why is because the enemy team drafted a bunch of squishies that are all focused on, like, kiting away. So because of that, Conquer isn't good this game, since you ever only ever want to go Conquer and say comps that, like, full commit. So, this game for pathing, I think we're just gonna do a full clear. Uh, my two options this game are full clear towards bot or three cam clear upwards and go for a gank on Jarvan. But I feel like Jace is probably gonna shove in Jarvan early. So because of that, I don't want to three cam towards top because I'm just gonna be wasting all my time. So instead what I do is I full clear downwards and I can just go for a free gank on their balling the second that uh, I finish my gromp. So the good thing about this game is that the enemy team doesn't even have an exhaust, so it should just be a free one. Should just be a completely free win. Okay. So looks like our bot's getting shove in. That's good. Mid laner is also doing decent. Top lane. Our top lane is actually surprising, like, even in wave state, which I feel like should not be happening. Because I would think that Jarvan would get, like, hard shoved in early, so that's a bit weird. It's okay, though. The good news is I don't think Kha'Zix can ever invade me, so I think we'll be okay. Okay, nice. Oh, not really nice. Okay. So that's a little bit bad that our bot gets double killed there, but... I mean, they use all their sums, right? So I feel like it should be okay since we can probably go for a gang soon on that. Just kind of sucks though, because imagine I had like my E here. You know what? I was saying maybe just popping ghosts and then running at them, but I would have needed Senna to use her root ability to kind of like open that possibility up. And she didn't use it, so it would have never worked. Oh, nice. Okay, so top laner gets solo kill, which is, like, pretty huge for us. Uh, Kha'Zix 5 count cleared upwards. Mm, okay, so that means he either skipped Gromp or he skipped Krugs. I think it's a lot more likely that he skipped Gromp than he skipped Krugs, but I'm still going to check Krugs just in case. Unless... No, we have mid shoved. Let's just play for double crab. <laughs> okay, nice. So our top laner actually kills the enemy jungler. That's actually massive. Considering the fact that we have like losing uh losing bots, having a winning top is actually super important. I think I'm just gonna leave this alive for as long as possible. Kill it with Q to keep Q stacks and look for a gank on Jarvan. It's probably gonna EQ out now. Perfect. But see, the good thing is that even though he queues out, he still, like, loses a bunch of health, so it's actually, like, pretty good for us. He's gonna saw my back here, though. <gasps> nice. Okay, we got really lucky there. I could go Ninja Tabby this game, but honestly, I don't really want to. I kind of just want to rush Ionian. Yeah, I think Ionian rush is definitely gonna be better. Because, like, sure, Kha'Zix, Jarvan, Zeri, Senna, they're all, like, AD auto attackers, but... I don't know, I'd rather have, like, Ionian for the CDR, so I have, like, more damage, and I can actually just play to one tap somehow. Alright, so I'm just gonna look for Raptors, and then probably clear bot side, and we'll be okay. Maybe I actually skip this gromp and I just go for a kill. Yeah, she wastes her uh, root. 
kill this? Free? Now she's gonna run away. Kinda sucks I didn't get the uh, relic shield proc on the cannon there, but it's okay. Now we just back off, we grab the Gromp, and then maybe I can even look for Dragon play. I mean, we know that Cossack's cleared upwards, so going for Dragon here is 100% what I have to do. Just because if... So that's what you always want to do. If the enemy jungle clears opposite of you and you're clearing downwards, then if I go for this drag, who's ever going to contest me? Cossack's probably around the top side looking for a gang there, so guess what? Yep, what I say? So I'm going to just take that trade and we get this dragon and I get a crab for free. And then I could probably even look for an invade on his... Um... I mean, it's kind of unfortunate that we actually died there. I should have just backed off and gotten the mana from this plans. I don't know. Vagar rotated after Lux, and then Arvain just like didn't even bother coming up, so that's just really, really bad for us. I mean, it's bad, but it's not game losing because I still won for nine versus that comp. Yeah, that's just really, really bad, though. It's like it's really bad, but it's like, whatever. So, what most people would do here is they would just look for a full clear, but I think my play would actually be just to do Raptors into Herald. I have 1500 gold up on the Kha'Zix right now, so I kind of want to use that to my advantage. Especially considering the fact that our top laner is winning as hard as he is. If I lose held with Perman Pryo top, it's like... I have problems. Even if Lux rotates down here, it shouldn't really be a problem because... I have full mana this time. So if my bot side's respawning and Kha'Zix cleared upwards, that means his side of the jungle is respawning, which means that his top side's respawning. Dude, this is so like... <sighs> okay. I mean, at least I got the, the heralds, but it's a little bit of a mid-gap incident happening this game. I'm just wondering if I should look for my boss side clear, if I should just look for bot gank, but... Yeah, these guys are definitely pretty interesting. If Senna goes for this, I'm just gonna pop my ghost and in insta-kill her. Nice. Okay, so our teammates are really bad, so we're gonna take the wave here. And then we're also gonna take a plate, cause why not? Alright, so now I can just back off, get crab, full clear upwards, and then play for this chase, and just herald top open. Cause when you're like pressing tab and you realize like, oh, our mid laner sucks, and then you're looking and you're like, oh, our blind sucks too. Then you look and you're like, oh, well, our top laner is like 2 kills up, 40 CS up, so why don't we just play for him? So what I should do here is I should just like full clear up, and then I just uh, go for like a top kill. And if I go for like a top kill, then the cool thing is that we can just hold top open and get the inner tower too. And if that happens, we got like a thousand gold off turrets split between me and Jace, and the game is actually looking good for us. Or what I can do is I can just go Wolves and then, like, try to flip a gank bot here. To deny them from getting for sour. This could also be good. Just because I have alts and I know they don't have sums. Probably 
Perfect. So now I have two options. My first one is I Herald bot open here. Or what I do is I just save Herald and I use the top lane. To be honest, I think balling my dock should be better. So we're just going to grab Krugs here and then we're going to look for it. Vayne's actually resetting giving me solo plates, which is surprising, but I'll take it. 350 gold on me is huge, and then I can just reset and go straight to Dragon and deny them from getting the second Dragon this game. So I'm just got Shojin, then second item. I could go for Eclipse this game, but nah, we'll just do this. So the reason why I went Kindle Gem before going Iron Spike is just because I don't feel like I really need more damage right now. I just need a little more survivability since their burst is what's fed right now. Okay, so I mean, Lulu literally just like face pun walked into Kha'Zix. Not sure how to feel about that. It's a bit interesting. Literally just straight up walked into Kha'Zix. I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, I'll just grab Crab and then we can probably look for a top side invade. Alright, I'm going to hover here, but I don't want to go in just yet. If I just hover Jace and Kha'Zix doesn't get isolation, we're okay. Ooh, Zeri is coming now. I think I'm just going to focus it onwards. I don't really want to. Actually, no, I should reset because Herald's up in like one minute. So if I reset right now and I focus it upwards and I'm there and I'm on a good timer for Herald. Okay, I can leave base half HP because I'll just heal off jungle cams because in this day and age you actually heal off killing the jungle monsters. Which is a little bit interesting to say the least. Okay, so what we can do now is we can just take the Krugs and look for Herald. I'm upgraded to my 2, so this is like a really, really big power spike for me. 3 Q-Socks. Kha'Zix just shows bot 2. There's no way in hell that they ever contest this. That's what I can do. And uh, Young Lion, Devon Town gives free shot. Thank you. Okay, let me see. I mean, if I just reset right now for Shardbreaker, then the good news is we can go straight to our blue, get that, and then should be okay. But now with the Shardbreaker spike, I feel like I'll actually be like really, really well off. Like the Shardbreaker spike should be insane for me.
Maybe I'll actually take the portal. Should up invade bot. Let's go. Jarvan, no E. Alright, just keep going. I just want to drop this Herald bot. Enemy is like committing some people mid, so if I just drop Herald bot and force them to respond, if they do that, I can probably just look for one shot. Okay, so Lux TP's down. Good. So Lux TP's down, Zeri also walks bot, and it leaves their Senna like open to be killed, which our bind did. Good. Okay, nice. I mean, that was like perfectly played by me. Perfect. So now, um, next buy I want to get is one that I never actually get anymore. But I think this game is going to be insanely good, which is that sense. And the reason why is because the enemy team is like all squishy AD. And I can easily get resets. And it's like that sense also helps me from like getting one shot by them. So I think that sense next item is actually going to be like crazy, crazy good this game. So now we're just going to run straight to this and we should be okay. Nice. So I'm just grab this. I want to drag this out. Pun intended, just because I don't want them to like. I, I they're gonna contest this, but I should be able to win that. Nice. All right. So now all I have to do is I go for full cap. I'm okay. I mean, at this point, Vagar is scaled. We have Vayne Lulu. Jace is getting us Mirror as soon as well. I'm fed. Game's looking good for us. The mistake here would be to do Krugs. The enemy's bot side is all coming up in like 20 seconds. So I really would just want to keep the pressure on them right now. I'm going to run up mid just, just so I can keep like Q-Sacks off this wave. And then I'm just going to look for an invade. And it should be okay. So now if my team just like comes here. I get my 3 Q-Sacks off this. Now just come here. They have no Jarvan, just come. Good. Perfect. See how there I didn't just autopilot to the uh to the Krugs? The reason why was because I knew enemies like bot side is respawn, we can just fight on that. Now what I can do is I can just reset, I get my death sands, and then at this point I'm like fed enough to actually like hard carry. So yeah, death sands, and then I'll also grab an elixir, just cause why not? If I get elixir, I'm literally never dying by the way. Kha'Zix shows bot. Listen, all we have to do now is just take the Baron for free. Because it is free. The enemy team literally can never contest this. They can try it, but I mean like... The best case scenario for them is they get here in time. And then I just run them all down with Ghost Salt and I get a Penta kill. The worst case scenario is that they don't get here in time. And we just get a Baron for free. The most chill case scenario is that they try coming here in time. I smite the Baron and then I just kill them all regardless. Which looks like that's what's going to happen. Damn. <sighs> I mean, I missed some my out there. I think that they can still probably get at least a kill or two here. No. 
Yeah, if I would have had a better ult there, it would have been good. It just sucks that it, it took me that long to get even, like, one death sense reset. I got two at the same time, but it didn't really matter that much. Um, Next item, though, I think I should just go Serax. If I get Serax, then I'll actually be so well off. So just gonna grab Pickaxe and then get a Ruby Crystal and be okay. All we have to do now is chill. So the mistake most players would make here is they would autopilot to their bot side because they say my entire bot side's up. The right play is to go to the enemy's top side. Why? Because I can. That's why. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my Q-Sacks off this and we're just going to look for a fight. So you want to know on Hecarim, this is how you carry games by the way. It's about like playing up with your Q-Sacks and your lead. See? Just like that, Lux is dead, they can defend, now they just lose the game. Just like that. See? Playing up with your lead. That's how you win. Always, always, always. Imagine locking in Senna in this day and age and then, like, complaining about anything. Oh my god, there's no way I just said that. <gasps> okay, I need to be per man for that. Wait, can they even end now? Or did I, like, troll? Vagar needs to one-shot the Nexus. I think I might have chilled though. Unless Vagar gets it in time. I have faith in him. Oh god. Never mind, I don't have faith in him. You know what the trick is here? Sell Ionian, finish Serax, get to one boots, and then just like... Literally just run down the entire enemy team. Because at this point, I'm going to have Ghost. I have my 4-item Power Spike. They're just like 100% dead. Alright, just play for this here. Alright, now it's time to go 1v5. The enemy team is never gonna expect this. There we go. Not bad. Easy game. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Sub if you haven't already, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.